So tomorrow I'm going to Hazelhead Park Run for the first time, so I wanted to film it. I've done that, that a few places where I just do a single continuous shot of the entire run, start to finish, um, in real time, no cuts or anything like that, just to show the entire route, which I quite like. But I've never really done the more vlog style videos. Um, if you've seen Douglas Mason on the Scottish Park Run YouTube channel, I've never done that sort of thing. Um, he, he's already done it and done it better than I could do anyway. But then the last video I did, was with my dad trying to help him run his first ever sub 25k well first ever sub 20 park run and i really quite enjoyed making that and editing it and everything so i decided i would still do my usual video when i go to hazelhead tomorrow but i'm also going to do this video that's more of the, the vlog style just to record it um, i know there's probably not going to be many people that are interested um if anything it's just more of a, a diary entry for for me and my friends that are going um but yeah it could be good fun so it'll be me, my uncle Lee, and our friend Tia, who are all going through together. Um, so I'm going to be staying at Lee's tonight, and then Tia is going to pick us up tomorrow and take us all through to Hazelhead. None of us have been before, so we're looking forward to getting a new park run in. Um, I have heard from one of my friends that it's a really nice route because it's an out and back, and pretty much the first half is uphill, and then the second half is going to be downhill. Um, and that could suit me quite nicely. Because my, well, one of my usual routes is about 7.5k, and the first five are up and the last two and a half are down. So I'm used to that going uphill to begin with and then fly down at the end. Although I have watched Douglas Mason's video um, on Hazelhead and he was saying that you don't really feel the downhills as much as you might expect on the way down. Um, so never know, just see how it goes. So I'm from Dundee, which is built over two hills. So there's Balgay Hill covered in a bunch of trees. You can't quite see it that well. And then the bigger of the two, the law is up ahead. Not sure how well it'll come off on the camera. I am thinking about, well, planning on doing a video which involves running up both of them, which should be fun. I've got friends in the Dundee Roadrunners Running Club and they've got a run they do that goes up both of them. So yeah, it'll be tough, but good fun. So we've got here nice and early, which is good. I've just spoken to the RD. The Lee is going to be running and then scanning. I wasn't going to be volunteering, but it turns out they've had a scanner drop out. So I'm gonna leave my phone with the run director and I'll be scanning afterwards as well. So I get to run and get to volunteer. Actually, I think that puts me up to 10 locations that I volunteered at. So that'll be the, whatever challenge that is on the 5K app. There we go, so I've got my phone now, ready to scan after the run. And the run director recognised me from the last video I did with my dad for his, his sub 20, so that's really kind of made my day already. So yeah, I think it should be a, a good one.
Thank you. Amazing. Morning, thank you. Thanks for my well done. Good job. <laughs> well done. Good job. So that's me finished with my running and scanning. Um, it was a really nice route, I enjoyed that. About 1940 something I managed, which I was really happy with. Um, so yeah, mostly uphill on the way out and downhill on the way back, but it does undulate in both directions, so you're, there's a bit of downhill on the way out and the, the way back isn't as downhill as you might expect it to be. Um, but yeah, really nice route and I'll hopefully come back some other time and get a PB. But for now, off to the cafe, the coffee and cake, and yeah, enjoy the weekend. So I'm just home after a Hazelhead Park run, full of coffee and cake. Um, had a really good time getting to run and volunteer as well. Um, so yeah, the RD Sally was able to get me on the roster for pretty last minute um, because somebody dropped out. Uh, so that was good fun. A really nice route. Um, we're, we're all under the impression that it was going to be two and a half K up, two and a half K down. But it was really more one and a half K up, two and a half K undulating, and then one and a half K down. But it's still a really enjoyable route, great fun. Um, so yeah, if you've not been, I'd definitely say to give it a go. So as well as going there with Lee and Tia, a few of our other friends turned up and met us there as a bit of a surprise, which was great. Um, and one of the good things about Hazelhead is because it's an out and back, then you can see, if you're there with a bunch of friends, you can see each other as you're going past, um, which is, is always really nice. Um, and on that note, I want to add another thank you to Tia in the video, just to say thanks for taking us along with her and getting some good pictures and just making it a really fun day. So yeah, thanks. <laughs>